I am doing this because you, many of you do not have this experience and you just need to pay attention to this. There was a little mistake I made in the other one which included me, but I said I have to do this, you know, to make up for that. But then you should be careful whenever someone is teaching, you need to have your own writing material to follow what the person is doing as well and to ask relevant questions. Now, in this experiment, I do not know how the question is going to be, but what I know is that sometimes you may be asked to find I against R. That is sine I and cos. Sorry, it shouldn't be cos. It should be sine R. Mistakes everywhere. All right, sine I and cos R. Mm, then you may be also have many things. Y and X. That is from here to here is Y. From here to here may be your X. So I'm going to show you how to manipulate all these things. But before you, you after manipulating, also remember you have to draw all these things. Put pin here, put pin here, put pin here, put pin here to show that you actually did it. Let's get started. I know that according to Snell's law that refractive index is sign of the incident all over, sign of refraction. This implies that refractive index is 1.5 is equal to sign of the incident all over, sign of the refractor. What is 1.5? 1.5 is the value of, is the value, is the refractive index of the glass when light is coming from air into the glass. So this means that R is equal to sine inverse of sine I all over 1.5. So I'm going to use this to find my R, to find this R. But once I get my R, I can find my Y and I can find my X. But you need to measure from A to D, and that is my 7. From A to D is something as from 0 to M, and to me is 7. But I think, okay, yes, 7, unless YX states the one you will use, but I don't think they can do that because if you go to the market, you will find, you will buy different rectangular shapes, which the rectangular prism, which has different values of length and width. So, but the one I'm using is 7. It can be 6 here and whatever. So, what I'm going to say is, according to, this is angle 90, according to Sokastua or trigonometric ratio, I'm going to say that X is going to be cos, cos R is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse 7 over Y. But if your own place, even if you are using my value, you can still get it. Depending, you are going to stick with this 7. So, this, that simply means that the value of y is going to be what? 7 all over cos r. So, first of all, let's get the value of r. So, in this i, we may have 10.0, 20.0, 30.0, 40.0. Now, let's find what r is going to be. God help me. I will make a mistake today. So, this is going to be sine sine 10 is equal to divide by 1.5. So now sine inverse, sine inverse of, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, fine. Let me say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me have sine 10 divided by 1.5. So I'm having, so this is my, um, sine inverse 0 0.1158 so I'm going to have sine inverse 0 0.1158 6.6 so my R is 6.6 6.60 please make it to one decimal place so that you can be able to measure it so let's go to this one sine sine 20 divided by 1.5 now 0 0.228 so sine inverse 0 0.228 I think I, I hope I'm correct so this is 13.20 so let me confirm um, sine 20 divided by 1.5 0 0.228. I think that is correct. Okay, so sine 30 is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 divided by 1.5. Okay, 0 0.5 divided by 1.5. 0 0.5 divided by 
0 0.5 divided by 1.5, I am having 0 0.333. So sine inverse of 0 0.3, 0 0.3333, I'm having 19.5. So this is 19.50. So I have gotten my this and I've gotten this. I can now find, I can now find my y. If I want to find x, I can also say x is going to be sine r is equal to opposite, which is x, all over. Opposite over hypotenuse. Or I can say tan. Let me prefer tan. Tan r is equal to opposite over adjacent. Therefore, x is going to be 7 tan r. <laughs> Why are you shouting like that? Are you... Did you... <laughs> All right, so... Now, I think... Okay, that's good. Okay, fine. I have my R. Okay, I can feel my X now. To feel my X, I will say tan... 7 tan... 7 tan... 6.6. .6. So, I will have... Are you serious? 7... Okay, fine. This is 0 0.80... Nine, nine. Come in. If you're coming in, you're free. Everything is cool. All right. So I have gotten the value for X. I've gotten the value for Y. I've gotten the value for R. So you are covered. Anywhere you are in any part of the world you are. Apply this. You are gone. Is <laughs> is a law that has been proven every time. Let's check again. Okay. Let me go to this. One more thing for you. Sign I. What is sign? Sign 10 is what? 0 0.1736 36 for, correct sign i what is sign r so sign r is 6.6 .6, which i'm having 0 0.1149 all right so what is y let me find y 7 over cos r so that is cos cos 6.6 .6 is what cos 6.6 .6 is 0 0.9934. So I'm going to say y is going to be 7 all over 0 0.9934. Uh, all you need is just common sense in mathematics. Divide by 0 0.9934. So I will have 7 point. Okay, yes, it's, it's okay. But I think my x is too small. Okay, I think for the value of... So let me go to Y. Y is 7.04, 0.05. Let me keep it that way. So this is what I'm going to do. The next one is sine I is going to be sine 20 here. Sine 20, which is 0... Oh, sorry. Which is equal to 0 0.3420. Then sine R. So sine... 13.20 keep it very simple 2284 right so and um yes correct so let's do the next one what is y here what is y here y is what y is 7 over cos r what is the cos what is r r is 13.2 so i'm going to say um 7 divide cos 13.2. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have 7 point, 7 point 1, Correct. So the next one is X. What is X? 7 tan R. The, the R is this. So 7 tan R is 13.2, which is 1.64. One eight. So, class, the next value is just put them here and you feel your table. Have a nice day. Hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it to every other student this night so that tomorrow's exam will not be a cut truth for those of you who do not have the experiment and who were not properly thought concerning the exam. My name is Vincent Daniel and this is Vindas Academy. Have a nice day.